We got some nice matcha green tea. We got the fireplace going back here. Let's do a late night review or first impressions. So I ended up picking up this bad boy recently. This is Burberry for men, one ounce, simple box. Got the little pattern, stripe pattern that Burberry normally has. Burberry on the top. And I never owned a Burberry fragrance. I bought one for my wife and one of my closest friends, they ended up buying one for her as well. Um, this is actually my first, first Burberry purchase. And I've been trying this thing out. Before I like it, I actually use a pretty decent amount of it. I really like the fragrance. It would, to me, first impressions wise, it comes off musky. It comes off warm, well, subtly warm. It's not real warm or spicy like a, like a Oud Vanille or a Oud Touch by Frank Olivier or anything like that. Or a Cremo uh, Spice Black Vanilla. It's not, it's not like that kind of warm. It's just, uh, you can tell that it's, it is meant for the cooler climate, but it's real, it's full in a subtle way. It don't come off loud. It's not overpowering. It's not obnoxious or anything like that. Very subtle, but full presence in this fragrance. It's such a good fragrance. I like the fact that it does smell a bit more mature, but it isn't too much cedar that is in here that's taking it that direction. I got a Cremo fragrance that is a uh, cedar and blue cypress, if I'm not mistaken. And it just screams old man. And it smells great. It smells great for a distinguished older gentleman. That's not what I'm looking for. At right now this to me has that older gentleman that distinguished gentleman feel but it's subtle where i believe a younger guy or somebody who may not just be into that right now could, could possibly were it's it's got like a subtle fresh citrus vibe but it's not a strong citrus, it's just a freshness to it. Light sweetness. You got like this musky, sort of warm feel to it, but it doesn't come off as a super warm fragrance. It doesn't come off super spicy, it's definitely woody, definitely musky. I love this fragrance. So let's take a look at the note layout. The note layout for this is mint, lavender, bergamot, thyme, cedar, sandalwood, geranium, jasmine, oak moss, musk, vanilla, and amber. So that slight sweetness that I'm getting is going to come from that vanilla and that lavender. I know that sometimes lavender and certain fragrances can come off just a little creamy sweet, uh, depending on which one it is. I know that blue lavender does that for me. Whenever it hits my nose, it's kind of like a creamy sweetness. You get a little bit of floral, but mainly you're going to get that vanilla, that amber, that musk, that cedar kind of dancing around. The mint comes in there and it's really, really subtle. It's not loud to where you can instantly pick up on it. It just help open that fragrance up a little bit more. The bergamot is that little bit of freshness that you get that when you think about a citrus, I feel like if they would have added an orange to this, that would have been perfect. That would have been really, really perfect. A nice, warm and sensual orange. Mandarin, that would have been perfect. A frozen mandarin. That would be really good. I like this. I like this a lot. Instead of spraying this right on me, because I got like four other fragrances on me. And I actually order, I need to order some more strips. Actually, I got some ordered to be in the mail in a couple days. I'm spray this. So what I get off the paper, and I'm gonna try to find some room on skin to try it as well. 
off paper i get cedar mint and that musk working immediately the freshness you don't get immediately it's like the freshness is sort of in the middle you don't it doesn't come off to me as like a top note to me that mint and that cedar that musk and vanilla is what i get first and then i get a little bit of freshness i'm seeing got like a peppery vibe but not loud not a loud peppery vibe we got like a slight peppery sort of thing like a, like a slight sparkliness to it and when i say slight i do mean slight it's not a whole lot it's just subtle things that i notice about it because it is a subtle fragrance to me this is a perfect fragrance for uh a scarf like if i if i can I'm in a winter time i got a scarf i can spray hit my scarf with it or something like that nice soft subtle but noticeable fragrance uh with a classic scent it's not doing too much it's not trying to be this or trying to be that leaning too hard in one direction just a nice chill fragrance and it's cheap i think i paid maybe 20 maybe 20 bucks for this one ounce which um isn't bad i've been a huge fan of one ounce bottles lately as well um because I'm starting to realize that I just really don't need 3.4 ounces. Uh, I go 2.5s as well. Now, if I'm on Fragrance.x or Net or Fragrance Buy and I see that the price difference isn't much, but sometimes I'll see a 1.7 ounce and then I'll see a 3.4 and it's like a $5 difference. In those cases, of course, I'll go ahead and get the 3.4. But right here, there's something quick. I've been loving to just be able to carry my bottle with me throughout the day instead of having a gargantuan 3.4. I got an Izzy, uh, uh, Izzy Poirot that I've been carrying with me that I just don't need to. Having this definitely helps out a whole lot. And it makes, it makes traveling with this and keeping this in my pocket. I put my P coat on, slide it in my top pocket, pull it out whenever I need it. A couple sprays. Um, I haven't really been testing out longevity on fragrances anymore lately because I just haven't really been caring to. I can tell when a fragrance has a lot of lasting power. Ooh, for greatness, great lasting power on me. But, uh, and, I, and I know I won't need to spray a whole lot of that. Some things you will just know. But with something like this, as subtle as it is, you know, I know I'm going to reapply it a couple times throughout the day. I got no issue with that. You know, it's just, it's the fragrance. You just got to have a love for it. Let's try a little bit of this on skin. We'll try it back here. All right. As I let that dry, we'll take a little sip of our tea. Hmm. And I hope it isn't the other fragrances kind of adding in with this. I had some Egyptian musk on earlier. I think Egyptian musk is an excellent fragrance and it pairs well with like so many fragrances because of how subtle, sweet, but just evenly musky it is and just how chill it is and subtle and how much you can just put a lot of it on and it doesn't necessarily choke everybody. It just creates a thicker scent bubble um so having it underneath this is probably was and making the smell as good as it does because this smells great but it doesn't smell that great <laughs> like um it's just very subtle all right so we're gonna try it right here actually Very musky. You get that a little bit of mint coming in and just making it really, it kind of amps up a little bit of the, the delivery for the fragrance. But it's not loud where that's what, you, that's what you're catching. It's working well as a, as a component for the fragrance and not overshadowing any of the other uh, notes. 
I get that soft creaminess from that lavender. It's a great fragrance, yo. Great buy, great fragrance, classic. I've seen this around a lot, uh, and I just never thought to pick it up because I didn't think that I would be into Burberry, but I think I'm gonna start giving them a shot. I'm gonna start looking at fragrances that everybody else was just like, nope, can't do that. No, I can't, can't deal with that. I'm gonna start looking at fragrances that other people have quickly kind of just thrown to the side. Uh, whenever Burberry has been mentioned, you know, recently, it seemed like it gets uh, sort of a negative reaction. So I wanna start checking them out. I like the color of this juice. I like the size of the bottle. I like the way that this smells. Slightly sweet, warm, sensual, subtle, but still able to have like a nice aroma, a nice little scent bubble around you. Excellent fragrance. That is Burberry for men. Like I said, um, I like the fragrance. I love the size. I love being able to carry it with me. Great fragrance to, to put on my scarf. I got like a, a polo scarf or something like that that I might put that on, throw my pea coat on, you know, in the wintertime and kind of, if I want to dress it up a little bit, I can. And that is it for this video, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon. Peace.